of people basically in the nutrition industry really down ketogenic dieting. You know, they say it's bad for human performance. Dr. Lowry and I were one of the first people to actually study the impact of ketogenic dieting on strength, on power, and on muscle mass. So we would go to conferences and people would say, it's impossible to get stronger on a ketogenic diet. It's impossible to gain muscle on a ketogenic diet. So Dr. Lowry and I went out and said, let's test this out. And what do we find? On a ketogenic diet, you can gain just as much muscle, just as much strength, but on top of that, you lose more body fat. So I think it's one of the most beneficial things we've seen is that your body can switch over this unique fuel source, ketones. It can only perform as well, it can only gain as much strength and power and muscle, but again, it optimizes body composition. So we've completely debunked these myths. One of the questions we get all the time is like, is there a dose response for ketones? Is there an upper limit for ketones? What happens if you take too much? In the studies, there is a dose response. The more ketones that are in the blood, the more the brain takes up, right? Now, we haven't really found like what that upper limit is as far as supplementation is concerned, but I can tell you in our studies, when you take two, three, four packets a day, which is really the most that you're gonna take in the Prove It system, along with taking things like Keto Broth and Keto S Pro, even at those maximal levels, you're still getting benefits every single time you add a packet. Right? So I think that's the biggest thing to understand. Now, here's the thing. What limits people is often their ability to use ketones. So there are people, they can't use glucose very well at all, right? So ketones is a much better fuel for them. But we've also found that to overcome things like this, you should use exercise. So the more exercise, the more movement that you get, the more your cells can actually use ketones. So that's why what we always say, you know, myself, Dr. Ryan Lowry basically is that, Ideally, the first thing that you should do is take ketones, right? A lot of people are not very well conditioned, so when they do a ketogenic diet, they can't make ketones very well, okay? So you can overcome that by taking ketones. Once you start doing that and you can use them better, then we recommend going on a ketogenic diet, and then to optimize it, do exercise because that improves ketone uptake. The best exercise is when we're talking about doing a ketogenic diet or using ketones is first doing what you feel comfortable with. You know, a lot of people don't feel confident with exercise. There's a recent study that came out actually from Steve Kunane's lab. What they did was they actually just found people walking 15 to 40 minutes a day for 12 weeks drastically increased ketone uptake into the brain. Now, if you say what's optimal, we did research in our lab led by Dr. Lowry where basically what he found is that interval training, high intensity training, actually speeds your ability to get into ketosis more than traditional cardio which is more like walking, jogging, low intensity stuff. So if, if you're not used to high intensity, you might start with low intensity, but if you, as you get in better shape, use interval training and that will enhance your ability to use ketones that much faster.